from Southwest Florida, I'm Bill Bro, and this is Kidney Cancer News. Leeds University research has shown why a bush only found in some African countries could hold a key to killing renal cancer cells. As spurred phylanthus, the plant is only found in Tanzania and other African countries. Previous studies have shown it contains a chemical, englerin A, which kills renal cancer cells, but they've not shown why. A research team led by Professor David Beach of the School of Medicine at University of Leeds has discovered that englerin A in very small amounts activates a particular protein. This triggers changes in the renal cancer cell that kills it. According to a recent article in Science News, lycopene may ward off kidney cancer in older women. A higher intake by postmenopausal women of the natural antioxidant lycopene found in foods like tomatoes, watermelon, and papaya may lower the risk of renal cell carcinoma. Investigators analyzed the risks for kidney cancer associated with intake of lycopene and other micronutrients that have antioxidant properties, including lutein and vitamin C and E. During follow-up, 240 women were diagnosed with kidney cancer Compared with women who reported a lower intake of lycopene, those who ingested more had a 39% lower risk. And finally in the news, the University of New Mexico Cancer Center recently enrolled its first patient in a Phase three international clinical trial to test a personalized vaccine against metastatic kidney cancer, a disease that's proven particularly difficult to treat and numerous attempts to create a kidney cancer vaccine have not improved survival rates. The UNM Cancer Center is one of 132 clinical trial sites worldwide, including sites in seven other countries. Details may be found at clinicaltrials.gov. Reporting from Southwest Florida, I'm Bill Brough.